What's up guys, welcome to the weekly technicals for July 14th, 2019. And we're currently looking at the economic calendar for this upcoming week. And if you guys see on Monday, we don't really have too much for New York session. We just have a speaker at 8.50 a.m. Eastern time. And Tuesday we have British Pound News at 4.30 a.m. And for New York, we have 8.30 a.m. dollar index news. So we have a good bit of dollar index news here on Tuesday. So we'll likely see a good bit of volatility here. And going into Wednesday, same thing as well, especially for the dollar CAD currency pair. Because if you guys notice for 8.30 a.m., we have a significant amount of Canadian dollar news as well as dollar index here. And uh, later in the day, we have some Australian dollar news at 9.30 for Asian session. And Thursday, more British Pound news at 4.30 a.m., 8.30 a.m., dollar index, medium impact news, and going into Friday, some Canadian dollar as well. So good bit of news events on the calendar for this week. Nothing too crazy that we need to stay away from like FOMC or NFP. So it should be a pretty good week overall. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and we'll jump into the charts. And we're currently looking at dollar index. So you guys can see dollar index came all the way back up traded into this ICT pair shoulder block here and we have sold off. So still looking for a continuation lower. I think we're gonna get a run below this like triple bottom that we have here, uh, right around that 95.80 level. So still about 100 pips to go on the downside. And if we get a continuation from there, I'll be looking for 95.20. And then much, much, much longer term, we have 93.80 and 93.20, which is also um, equal lows. So we have resting liquidity below the market. We do have some above the market, but as you guys can see, we're respecting bearish market structure. So we have a high, low, lower than the previous low, lower high, lower low, lower high. So now the next logical thing for them to do would be make a lower low. So this week we're going to be focusing on a bearish dollar index with the expectations of foreign currency trading higher. All right, and looking at Euro dollar, very similar scenario here. So we came all the way up, we made a higher high, leaving a break in market structure, as well as bullish market structure in the market as well. So we've traded back down into the ICT bullish order block here. So we've also got similar price action. We've got a low, high, higher high, higher low, and the next logical thing would be another higher high. So that'll be above 14 big figure to 14.50. Uh, for it to classify as a higher high. So we'll be looking for continuation to the upside on this and Really don't want to see any weakness from here So I believe you know, we have a significant swing low in the in place now and we should just continue trading higher So don't really want to see any weakness on euro dollar, especially if dollar index continues to trade lower We should be able to see euro dollar trading higher as well So let's take a look at British pound and this one is the only one I'm more unsure of. And the reasoning is because we do have this like relatively long wick, which I'm basically disregarding, but we do have bearish market structure here. So we could have just came and ran the stops below here. And we may want to come back above the 1.2770 level to 28 big figure, um, potentially into the 1.29s. But ultimately we need to see, you know, what happens early on in the week here. If Monday and Tuesday we close bullish, then we'll be looking for a continuation above here. But if we just kind of chop sideways, which is kind of what I think that, you know, they're gonna do with British pound in here, but um, we'll see what we get with this, but more so I'm, I'm focused on Euro dollar right now. Still looking for higher prices on British pound though. And looking at Euro GBP, we still have these equal highs above that 90, 95 to 91 big figure. So we'll be looking for a continuation to the upside on this. Uh, we're just kind of gradually trading higher. So they may want to have a bit of a deeper retracement before going up, but nonetheless, still looking for higher prices on Euro GBP, which obviously in itself would lend well to higher Euro and potential weaker to more consolidating uh, British pound. And then lastly, let's take a look at dollar cat. So initially last week we traded up early back up into this low and we failed to make a higher high here. We just left equal highs. And then we sold off making a lower low again. So still looking for lower prices on dollar CAD, especially with the expectations of a lower dollar index. And I'll be looking for a run below this low next. So that's that 1.28 big figure. So still about 200 pips on the downside for dollar CAD. So we'll have to see, you know, what the uh, overall expansion is on the downside. But we've had a beautiful sell off in here. 
and more so I'm just looking for a continuation lower. So if I'm correct, we shouldn't come back above uh, this high here, which was left on Wednesday. So Friday, Thursday, yeah, Wednesday. So we don't wanna see the market trade back above 1.3150. So the high was left in at 1.3144, and the ideal scenario would be we don't trade above 1.3150. So look for a continued expansion to the downside still on dollar CAD. And again, I know I keep saying it, but with the expectations of dollar index trading lower, we should see uh, foreign currency trade higher and pairs like dollar CAD, for example, we should see a trade lower. So that is gonna be it for today, guys. I know it was a pretty quick one, but um, really that's, that's the main things that I see going on in the markets right now. Um, I actually came back in town to Louisiana for a few days, so I'm visiting with family. So I just wanted to get this uh, knocked out in the morning. So I did make it a little bit quicker, but if anything else comes up uh, throughout the week or something like that, I'll just upload another video to YouTube here. But um, as of right now, this is the main things that I'll be looking at for the markets this week. And we should have an overall uh, pretty good week because again of the economic calendar and the overall market structure that we see. And we're pretty deep into the summer now. So we'll see uh, what the market does here. And um, yeah, I'll talk with you guys next week in the weekly technicals. Like I said, if I see something before then, then I'll upload another video to YouTube here. Um, but with that being said, you guys have a good rest of your week, and I'll talk with you next week in the weekly technicals.